and look for our texture. There it is, calculator texture. Click open. If I look over here in my attribute editor where it says texture sample, it says it loaded successfully. So I can't see it in my view panel, so what I need to do is move my cursor into my view panel and press the number six. And there we go. Now if I hide, let me go to my channel box, if I hide our glass layer, you'll see there's our our uh, solar panel and our display. And it colored the border, see the border right there, it colored that a, a dark gray. Okay, so let's do the buttons now. I'm going to minimize Maya. There's our buttons UV. I'm going to open GIMP back up. Go to File, Open, navigate to my desktop, and there's our buttons UV. So I'm going to open. And now I'm going to click on, no, let's create a layer. Layer, new layer, and this is going to be buttons. Now actually we'll do the colors of the buttons on one layer and then we'll add another layer to do the words. So I'm going to make sure our buttons layer is selected. Use the rectangular select tool. Click, drag on everything. Like so. Select the color. Let's make our buttons kind of a dark gray, almost black. Click on the paint tool, paint bucket, and just pour the paint in. All right, I can't see my UV, so I'm gonna click on the background level and move that up. There we go. So now we have a color to our buttons. I'm gonna go to layer, new layer. Let's name this layer button numbers, or just numbers, or whatever you want it. It's on transparency, click OK. Move my background up. Make sure I select this button numbers layer so we're painting on the right layer. I'm going to click on the big letter A and click on one of these buttons and now I can start typing. Alright, this top layer is going to be C slash CE. It's going to be a percent sign, a plus slash minus, and an off. All right, I can't see our words because it's black. We need to make them white. So I'm going to go over here and select the white color. So now they're white. Make them bigger. Something like that. I'm going to go ahead and move those into place. So I'm going to actually let's make it bold. I'm going to click. Click on bold, sans bold. Make them bold. And now I'm going to click on my move tool, hold my shift button down and now I can grab and move those around. Now I'm going to click on the letter A again and I'm going to double click inside the box where my text is at. So I'm going to double click and now we can continue editing in there. I'm going to make them a little bit smaller. There we go. And I'm just going to space them out. I'm just adding spaces in between the text is all I'm doing. And that's pretty good. I'm going to use my move tool and hold shift button down. Left click and drag. There we go. All right, I'm going to click the letter A, click on another line. The next line is MRC. There's an M minus, an M plus, and an MU. This changes our text color to white again. I'm going to use a move tool, shift and move these up. There we go. We actually probably make those even bigger. Let's see. Click on the A, double click back in our text box so we can continue editing those. Let's see what happens if we make it bigger. Yeah, we can make it bigger. There we go. I'm going to use the move tool, shift. Click on the A double click back in our box and now I'm just going to add some spaces to move those to where they're more in the center of each button. There we go. So I'm like, you can just, if you can close if you want to or you can leave it open but with the A selected I'm just going to click on another row 
change the color back to white. I don't know why it keeps going back to black. This row is going to be 7, 8, 9, and multiple, actually divide by. Space those out. There we go. Use my move tool, hold the shift button down, click and drag. There we go. Click the A, click on another line. This one's going to be 4, 5, 6, and multiply. Space those out. Use my move tool, shift, and then click to drag it. Click on A, and let's start another row. This is going to be 1, 2, 3, and minus. I'm just going to space those out now. Use my move tool. Move those into place. And now we got one more row to go. It's going to be 0 point equal and plus there we go now I'm going to use my move tool hold the shift button down and move those up and there's all our text now I need to do one more thing the C slash CE button should be red so I'm going to go back down to our button colors layer, click on this rectangular select tool, and just click a box around where the CE is, and let's make that red. Actually that's a good color. Click on the paint bucket, and then pour the paint in. And there we go. So that's all done now, so let's get rid of our background layer. So I'm going to select the background, right click, delete layer. And now we can go to image, flatten image, where there it is, flatten image. And now we can save it. File, save as. That flatten image, all it does is it took all layers and combined it into one layer and just flattened everything. Let's save it as button texture.jpg for JPEG. I'm just going to save mine as a JPEG file. Go to my desktop, save. Leave the quality at default settings and click save. Close GIMP and there's our button texture. So I'm going to open up Maya. I'm going to select the buttons. I'm going to right click, assign new material. This time we'll do a Lambert because the buttons are more of a rubbery kind of look. Doesn't really have any shine. Or it says color. I'm going to click on the button to the far right with the checkerboard on it. Click on File, and now we need to tell Maya what file. So I'm going to click on this button with a folder, navigate to the desktop, and there's our button texture. Click Open, and there we go. So now the only thing we have left to do is go down to our glass layer. We can hide the other ones. Let's bring our body back, that way we can see a little better. So with this selected, I'm going to right click, assign new material. And we'll do blend because we want it to be shiny. I'm going to add some transparency to it. So, something like that. Maybe make our glass a little bit. No, we want it to be clear. So, I'll just leave it where it is. Let's call this name that's color. Right now it's named blend2. I'm going to call it MAT. So, we'll name it material glass. Reflectivity, I'm going to bump it up some because glass is pretty reflective. 
and also the diffuse, no, the eccentric, eccentricity. We can uh, adjust that a little down, a little smaller. There we go. Now I'm going to click on this other window. Here, I can, just so you can see a little better, I'm going to hide, just show the glass. So on this one, I'm going to right click, assign existing material, and now I'm going to select material glass that we created. There we go. So now I can bring back all our layers. And there is our calculator with our Fresh Maya Excel 2009 logo on there. And that concludes this part of the tutorial. In the next part, we will create some lights and a surface for our calculator to sit on, and then we'll render it out. Thanks for watching.